Hey Father's Heart Kids, I'm so glad to be here with you all again and I just absolutely love being part of Father's Heart Kids and also being your teacher. It's just so amazing to me to be able to spend some time with you all and also learn more and more about God together. I don't know about you guys, but every single week I just learn something new and I just can't wait for the next lesson every week. I think actually you guys should let me know now in the comments if you are also learning and growing with me and if you are enjoying our lessons because I just love hearing from you guys and it really means a lot to me when you guys participate and even if you are not watching this video weeks later you can still leave a comment as I do go back and have a look at the comments and sometimes I will even leave you a little message. But anyways, let's quickly close our eyes so I can pray for us so we can start today's lesson. Thank you God for a brand new day. Thank you for everything you do for us. Thank you that we can get together again here at Father's Heart Kids. And thank you that we can just enjoy praising you today. Jesus, we just open our hearts to your presence and we ask that you will come and have your way today. Do as you please in our lives. In Jesus' name, and we all say, Amen. So let's now get ready just to sing and jump and dance for Jesus. Remember, everything we do in our praise and worship, we do it for Him alone. So let's now put our phones down and put it on widescreen so we can just enjoy this time together.
Didn't you guys just have an amazing time now in God's presence? I just love singing praises to Him. So don't forget that we are now taking the songs and loading them up on YouTube individually. And now in this way, you guys can have access to the songs all the time and you can praise and worship God at home every day of the week. So before we now go further and start the lesson, let's all quickly close our eyes so I can pray and then we're going to ask God to help us focus so we can learn something new from our Bible story. Thank you Jesus for your presence here with us today. Please be with us in the rest of today's lesson and help us to focus on what we are learning today. Please help us apply what we are about to learn today in our lives. In Jesus name, Amen. Awesome guys, today is just going to be so much fun and I'm so excited to share today's Bible story with you guys. So usually now we do a quick recap but today I actually have a lot to share with you guys. So to save some time we're going to skip the recap. So if you did not miss anything please check on the Facebook page or on YouTube because the lessons are always there to go back to so you never miss out on anything. But guys, I really can't even begin to explain how excited I am. Do you guys want to know why? Well, it's because last week we actually completed the first book of the Bible. That's right, we have worked through the entire Genesis together. And now we are starting with the second book of the Bible, Exodus. And that's why we don't necessarily have to do a recap to understand today's story as we're now starting a new story of someone's life. But please, if you now really did miss last week, go check it out so you can now know what we learned from Joseph's life. But now, back to the book of Exodus. These stories in Exodus is actually a few years later. As remember guys, Bible stories are actually things that really happened. So everything we are reading was many, many, many years ago and was written down also many years ago. So not every single detail of everyone's lives are now written down. As Just imagine now how thick the whole Bible would be then. The Bible only actually contains important parts of their lives and what we can actually learn from them. It doesn't now include things like, on this day, Adam sat and had a fruit salad for lunch and after that he went for a swim. Because, guys, that's irrelevant and we can't do much with that information. So, like I said, today's story is now quite a few years later, so we are fast forwarding to the story of Moses. I know some of you might have heard of Moses before and if you haven't, please don't worry. I'm going to introduce you guys to Moses today as we're going to start a journey with him for a couple of weeks to come and I'm just really so excited because his life is going to be such an exciting story to read. So let's get into our very first story of Moses. Our story is called A Baby in a, Mo uh, in a Basket and it's based on Exodus 1 to Exodus 2 verse 10. So listen now carefully as I tell you the first story of Moses' life today. A Baby in a Basket, Exodus 1 to 2 verse 10. Many years passed, a new pharaoh ruled over Egypt. He did not know about the good things Joseph had done. By now there were many people in Jacob's family. They were called Israelites. Pharaoh did not like the Israelites. He made them work hard. One day Pharaoh decided to get rid of all the Israelite baby boys. A woman named Jochebed had a baby boy. She wanted to save him, so she gently laid the baby inside a basket and placed him in the river. The baby started to cry. Pharaoh's daughter saw the basket and opened it. She gently picked up the baby and hugged him. I want to keep you, the princess whispered. She named him Moses because she pulled him out of the water. Miriam, the baby's big sister, had been watching nearby. She said to the princess, I know a woman who can help you take care of the baby. So Miriam ran to her mother. Jochebed was so happy. When Moses was a young boy, Jochebed returned him to the princess. He grew up in the palace. Wow guys, now this is quite an interesting story. We can definitely learn something from it. 
So firstly, I just thought of it now as we were reading the story that maybe you guys might get confused with the word Pharaoh. The Pharaoh is not a name for someone. Let's say the word Pharaoh is almost like a job description. Like he was the king of Egypt. So in that time, instead of saying he was the king or the ruler or in charge of Egypt, they would now say he's the Pharaoh. So Pharaoh we are talking about in today's story is a new one in charge from the last story we read. I really hope that makes sense, guys. So now back to today's story. Let's quickly unpack it and see what we can learn from it. So Pharaoh in Moses' time didn't like the Israelites. And now remember, the Israelites were all the descendants of Jacob. So the Israelites had become a large group of people and they had many babies. So Pharaoh now got scared that they would get stronger than him and overpower him and take over Egypt. So that's now when he decided to take all the babies that were boys and get rid of them. It's actually quite scary now to think that Pharaoh wanted to have all the baby boys of the Israelites killed. Yo, guys, this is now all because Pharaoh was insecure. Maybe that's the first thing we can talk about and we can learn from. We shouldn't be insecure, guys. It makes us do all kinds of crazy things and it makes us do very bad things to others. Okay, I know. None of us will now go and be like Pharaoh and go around killing innocent babies. But guys, insecurity can still be very bad for us. It was a lot now like jealousy. The Israelites never had any intention actually to take over Egypt. But Pharaoh, because of insecurity, had this whole imaginary scenario in his head of what might happen. We sometimes do it actually too. Let me give you guys an example. So now there's now a new person in school and they are like super cool and very friendly. Maybe they're even good looking and everyone likes them, especially the teachers. Now, if you are insecure, you might make up stories in your head like, what if this new kid steals all my friends? And what if they're so cool that my friends don't want to even play with me anymore? Or what if the teachers like them way more than me and I'm not a favorite anymore? Now look guys, none of that has happened as yet. They are still a new kid in school and it's their first day. But our minds make up these crazy scenarios of what might happen. And this guys can cause us to do bad things. For example, maybe you are rude thing to this new kid for no reason. Or you start lying to your friends and you tell them not to talk to the new kid as... They're weird and they pick their nose. I don't know what you might think or do or say, but my point is we must be very careful of insecurity. We should rather think if my friends really are my friends, they won't push me away. We can all be friends and this will help you now to give the new person a chance and you the opportunity to show them the love of Jesus. Maybe you guys have faced insecurity before and when you do, you need to remember that this is actually a plan of the enemy, the devil. He plans all now these, he plants actually all these bad thoughts in our minds and like we actually don't have to listen to him because the devil plants these bad thoughts so we get insecure and do bad things so i want you then to remember you don't have to be insecure you are perfect just the way you are and god has a plan for you there's only one of you and no one can be as unique as you are and no one can ever take your place and most importantly guys you are always loved by god so now knowing that you can easily shush the devil and when he gives now these bad thoughts to you of insecurity. But guys, there's still actually a whole lot more we can learn from today's story. So, back to the story. So Moses' mom, knowing that Pharaoh was going to kill her baby, trusted God for a miracle. Isn't that just so amazing? We should all actually be like that. We are, when we now are facing bad situations and it seems like there's no way, way out, we just need to trust God for a miracle. So that is what his mom did. She put him in a basket and then she put the basket now in the river. Now guys, that takes a lot of faith to put a baby in a basket and then in a river. I mean, firstly, babies can't swim. Then out of all things, she put him in a basket. Not in a boat, no, 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 in a little basket. And this, guys, is because 
she knew that if she trusted God, God would do the rest and protect Moses. Wow, guys, we really should have faith like Moses' mom. And look what happened. I really don't think it was an accident that out of all the people that could have found baby Moses, it was Pharaoh's daughter. This really, guys, is God's hand at work. I mean, think about it. Firstly, he didn't drown. And also, his basket didn't flip over and no water came in. He wasn't found by maybe Pharaoh's soldiers who would have killed him if they found him. And he wasn't even eaten by a crocodile. Nope, none of that bad stuff happened, guys, as God came through for Moses' mom because she trusted in him and had faith. So, okay. I know now I'm talking a lot and you guys might now be thinking, okay, ma'am, but what is your point? What can we learn? Well, guys, I want us to learn to trust God and now have faith in him like Moses' mom because God can do a miracle for us. If we don't have faith in God and trust him to do a miracle, we have basically accepted our reality and then you're not leaving room for God to work in your life. Just look at all the other parents. Unfortunately, they accepted their reality that there's nothing they can do. And when facing, especially now when facing someone as powerful as the ruler of Egypt, I really can understand why they would do, think that. But guys, with God, there's always another way out. And if you think of that way, he can do a miracle for you. So next time when you are now faced with bad times and it seems like there's no way out, remember, there's always another way. And that way is having faith in God as he will do a miracle for us. Now, guys, for this week, I actually have an amazing memory verse that will fit in with our lesson so we can remember it. So some of you might have actually heard of this memory verse. So it's in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7. For we walk by faith not by sight. It's actually a very easy memory verse, guys. And this verse goes perfectly with our lesson and story of today. We should walk by faith, meaning we should live our life by faith and not by what we see. Meaning we shouldn't look at all the bad situations going on around us. Sure, guys. This was really such an amazing story that we now actually just read. And I feel like I learned so much. Now, just to help us all now to remember it better, we're going to do a pretty amazing craft today. So come along and let me show you guys what we will be making for this week. So the craft we are going to make today is actually going to be so easy to make and we don't actually need a lot of things to make this craft. You're just going to have to print one A4 page. You're going to need a Susati stocky. You're going to need your scissors, some salad tape and a pen and then obviously your coloring in pencils. Okay, so mine is already in color because I'm just going to show you guys how to make the craft. So firstly, we're going to take our scissors and then we're going to start cutting out this block. Here yeah, you can see it's our little scenery with the river and we are going to cut this part out first. There we go, and it's going to now look like something like this. Then we can put these pieces of paper aside. But don't throw this piece away as yet because there is baby Moses in the basket. So we're also going to cut him out. There we go, now we have baby Moses in his little basket. And then you're going to take your Sosati stick. I'm going to put it down like this. And we are going to stick Moses on our little stick. I'm sure you guys remember this as we've done this before in a previous craft. So you're just going to put your Sosati stick in the middle of the little picture. You're going to take your salad tape, any salad tape you want. And we're going to stick our society stick down onto the little basket. So we're going to take a few pieces to make sure it is 
stuck down properly. There we go, I'm sure that will do the trick. Okay, then the last part of the craft, we need to now cut on this dotted line in the middle of our river. So we're just going to take our page and we're going to fold it in half, sorry, this way. I'm going to fold it in half and we're going to make a little hole so we can wiggle our scissors in between. Like that. And then we're just going to cut on that dotted line. Like that. Then guys, now we're going to take baby Moses. And we are going to now put him in the river. Just like his mom did. There we go. Okay, now he's there in the river and now he is floating. Can you guys guess who this is? That's right, it's Miriam, his sister. Because remember in the story we read that she was looking out for him. Because uh, Moses' mom put him in the river and then she was supposed to just look and see if he's okay. And then he floated down the river. There we go. Okay. And then let's look what it says here. It says here, have faith. God can do a miracle and then I put your memory verse scripture there so you guys can look it up and go and memorize it and here's the name of our story baby in a basket so it's almost like a whole story in one picture isn't that so cool so guys let me quickly do this before I forget remember to always write your names nice and big on your craft so when you send them in that I know whose craft it is like that and then if you are wondering where you can find your craft please go look at the description if you're watching this video on Facebook then there is a link it's usually blue that you can click on then you can download it or I'll share it on our whatsapp group so make sure that you're part of the whatsapp group so basically that's our craft for today Wow, I really enjoyed making today's craft and I just know I won't quickly forget today's lesson, especially when I look back at this amazing craft we have for today's lesson. So I hope you all now enjoyed last week's craft as it was actually a bit different. I know I really enjoyed the activity book so, so much. So let's now have a look at all the crafts that were sent in to me from last week. send in your crafts i really really appreciate you taking the time to make your craft so beautiful and then to share it with all of us you're really all so amazing now for those that want to have your craft featured on the screen just keep an eye out for my craft post on facebook once i've now posted that you can now comment a picture of your craft on that post so i can get it from there or you, what you can do is you can send me a whatsapp but remember guys, the faster you get your crafts to me, the better. But please now try to send your crafts to me before Friday afternoon. So guys, it's now time to jump up and start moving for God. So let's get your phones now again on widescreen and just enjoy two more songs with each other as we now sing and dance for God. Let me hear the worship of
Today. Today we started with the second book of the Bible called Exodus. Our first story we read from Exodus was called A Baby in the Basket and it was based on Exodus 1 to 2 verse 10. We have learned from our story that we should not get insecure thoughts in our hearts about ourselves because insecurity can cause us to do bad things. We also learned that we need to replace thoughts of insecurity with good thoughts and we need to remember that we are special and unique and God loves us so, so much, so we never have to doubt ourselves. We also learn from our story to have faith like Moses' mother. And when we are in a situation where it seems there's no way out, then we shouldn't just accept our reality. We should rather believe and trust in God because He can do a miracle for us. Because remember what our Bible verse says, we walk by faith and not by sight. Sure guys, what an action packed lesson this was today. I really enjoyed every moment of it and I can't wait to continue with the story of Moses. I just know we are going to learn just so much from him. So please guys, try now not to miss a lesson as they are going to follow up on each other. So let's quickly now close our eyes so we can end off today's lesson in prayer. Dear God, thank you for your awesome love. 
and thank you for watching over us and protecting us. Help us to never be insecure and remind us that we are loved by you. Help us to always have faith like Moses' mom, especially when we go through hard times. Thank you that you are a God of miracles and we can always trust you. We just love you so, so much. In Jesus' name, Amen. Okay, guys, we have now unfortunately reached the end of our lesson, but don't be sad because I will see you guys again now in the week when we do our many moments with God. So be sure not to miss it. Bye-bye, everyone.